So what is a CISS? Well, it's Continuous Ink Supply System, which is a external ink tanks so that can be uh, refilled with bottles of ink. Now there's two kinds of kits. Uh, both of the one kits are made in China. This one is a, called a do-it-yourself kit, which means you provide the ink cartridges, empty ink cartridges, uh, to use in the system. And this one is made by Coca Color. Pretty funny. Now this one is called pre-fitted because it comes with a set of cartridges that are empty and have new chips put on them so that you don't have any problems when you uh, with the uh, electronics of the printer and detecting uh, non-authorized cartridges. This kit is made by Print Partners. Now these are kits and you install them yourselves. Uh, but you can also get printers from Epson that already have a built-in CISS uh, system. This is the uh, Epson L210 MFP, and if I spin it around here, you can see that it's got uh, external ink tags on the side, and you can detach this and fill up the reservoirs with the bottled, bottled ink. Now, all well and good, but uh, you know this was a, 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 a real mess yesterday. Um, filling these initially, um, it's really easy to get the, to get ink all over the place. It's really easy to get ink on your hands, um, and you don't want to get this ink on carpeting or clothes, and it, it'll eventually come off your hands. It's slowly coming off. But then you also have to wonder what the, the sense of it. I mean, it's for people who are allergic to buying ink cartridges for their printer. Basically, that's what it's all about. Um, there's a lot of people that have an absolute phobia about having to buy ink. And, you know, buying bottles of ink is uh, supposedly cheaper than and, and filling it manually and taking the risk of spilling it, spilling it and um, special transportation uh, procedures so that it doesn't leak, etc. Um, so that it don't have to buy ink cartridges. And just to, to give you an idea, this is an ink cartridge for a uh, Epson 4520 workforce. It's a plastic container. All it has is a chip, chip in it. Other than that, it's just a plastic container with a, with a bug. Well, look at the size of it compared to the, this is black. Look at the size of it compared to this black tank over here. So it looks to me like just so that you don't have to buy a plastic tank filled with ink and pop it in there in two seconds and you'd rather mess around with a bottle of liquid, liquid ink that is easy to spill. It's not even the same quality as the ink. So this is a pigment ink, Epson, and this is a dye-based ink, meaning that it's not waterproof. So the point I'm trying to make is what's the point? So. The point will be eventually that you're going to get a lot of pages per bottle of ink because it's, it's, there's a lot more ink in a bottle than there is in this cartridge. So presumably it's going to end up costing you less in the long run. And the whole purpose of our evaluation is going to, to, to be, uh, okay, what are the other strengths and weaknesses in the long run? And uh, so. We're going to embark on this journey to uh, check out um, uh, some of the more extreme 
uh, aspects of, of um, CISS. This is pretty sanitary compared to what we're going to deal with next. And that will be installing, actually installing a system like this on a printer, on a printer that wasn't designed for it. So we're going to have to run, run these hoses through the printer uh, to, to, to the ink carrier, etc. Uh, with these kits. Like I said, one of them uses your empty ink cartridge and the other one, the DIY kits and the um, pre-fitted kits come with an empty ink cartridge. So let's take a look at what's inside the boxes here. Okay, this one is the pre-install kit. And inside the box, let's see, some clips kind of a syringe tip in the bag. A syringe. Here's the external tank. This looks here's your transport switch two-sided tape to stick it to the side of the printer. Uh, it looks like it, it, it's very similar in design to the Epson where you flip open the top and it's tilt it down and fill up the individual tanks. You can see them in here. They already have ink in them. And here are the you have to run this hose through the printer and here are the replacement ink cartridges and there's a clip over the to pr protect the, the, the heads so there's the head and we're going to have to take off this tape before we um, before we can run the printer. So let me put this back on. So th these, these snap into place and replace the in place of your ink cartridges and they're supposed to be permanent and when you need ink you fill up the tanks here so and there's something else here i'm not so sure what this is but i don't think it really means a heck of a lot it's the same shape as as a cartridge well it looks like it looks like uh, it has something to do with priming cartridge and we'll find out no we're not we'll find out uh, once we get around to installing this this particular kit so this is the this is called the pre-install This is a do-it-yourself kit. So let's look and see what's in the box. OK. 
Okay. There's the construction destruction sheet. I'm gonna do it. Here is now this is gonna be wild. <clears throat> Here is how to run the hose, run the hoses, attach them, and where to drill the holes to um, put the hoses in, in your, your used cartridge. And you have to seal a hole with glue or a uh, melting with electric iron. And I'm drilling the magenta hole from here, drilling the yellow hole from here. This is for the tricolor cartridge. Oh, baby. And remember, this is all t to avoid having to buy cartridges of ink. Alright, so in this kit, here's the ink tanks with the hose wrapped around it. And you can see the rubber bungs, different color at the end of the hoses here. And this is pretty trippy. Uh, here's some inserts. I look like uh, it's some kind of a little filters for inline filters for the hose. Paper clip. Some other clips to attach the hoses, uh, so some other special clips here, a metal clip, some little tiny, little tiny Bongs. Here's one of the little tiny filters, inline filters. Syringe. Paper clip. And last but not least, a hand drill. Now this this looks like it's going to be fun. Okay, fun or frightening? One or the other. I can't. I mean, I'm a I'm a, a pretty good mechanic and uh, can do just fix and fix just about anything. But this stuff is um, looks pretty scary to me. And then there's this similar Gazenta for. Do you mind? Similar. Gazenta for, uh, looks like it's for holding the cartridge. Okay.
Let's get the victim on the operating table. 